Hiya, my name is Gail Penbethy and I'm here from Endless Thread Design and I want to talk to you about one of my other passions, red work. Um, I love a little bit of red work. It's great, you can do it on the go, you can carry it around with you, it's very portable. That's all you need is a little bit of thread, your, your piece of fabric, a pair of scissors and a needle and you're, you're ready. If you're new to red work, um, maybe you want to start with a small little project. This is a lovely little project that um, we've got available. These are our red work mittens. So with this pack, you get all the different designs and you get instructions on how to make these little red work mittens that can be used either as gift tags or could be used to decorate maybe a little Christmas tree. And I also think if you spend all the time stitching these out and then you give them to somebody on a, on a Christmas gift, it'd be lovely then if they could then go on and, ha and hang them on the tree. The pattern comes with a full alphabet so you can personalise the tags. So maybe you could make little pairs to go on a tag and you could put to or from whoever it is that you're sending them to and then maybe one with a little decoration on. These were so popular and people enjoyed making them so much that I then went on to make another range of tags. And in this pattern, you get all these different shapes. So this time we have some luggage label tags, we have some bells, and then we have some stars, and also we have some baubles. And again, just because it's called red work, it doesn't have to be stitched out in red and the backgrounds don't, don't have to be in red either. So you can see here, I've decided to use different colour felts and you could also use different colour threads. So with that in mind about using different colour threads, I want to talk to you about some larger projects. So here we have um, our Robin cushion. Now the Robin cushion you get the full instructions on how to make the robin and how to stitch the robin out and also how to construct the cushion. You can see here with an envelope back. And my good friend Julia kindly stitched together a sample in other colours. So again, as I was saying, just because um, it's called red work, it doesn't mean that you have to stitch it out all in red. And I think it looks really, really pretty. And Julia's used some additional stitches. And in the pattern, there are instructions for some other stitches. Also, I have seen examples of this where people have coloured in some of, of there and added some fabric pens and coloured in some of the backgrounds. And you don't always have to do it on a white background. You could actually trace it off onto other colours. With a robin in mind, there's another little um, robin wall hanging that I've got behind me called uh, Noel Robins. And there you'll see a beautiful stack of robins, one on top of the other, all flying in to land on the lamppost. And here I have a sample again done by Julia, stitched out in different colours. And I think again, it looks just as lovely done in different colours as it does um, in the traditional red. I enjoyed doing the red work so much that I got a little bit carried away and I then brought out um, my bauble range. So let's just have a look at those. So let's start with the reindeer, uh, sorry, reindeer, the snowman bauble. Okay, so with this pattern, you get two snowman designs. This one, the little Christmas pudding snowman. Okay, and then you get the snowman bauble design. That's where the name for the pattern comes. And you can see here, I'm part of the way through stitching it. The little piece in the middle, I haven't quite got round to finishing. And I've used a few sequins and beads to decorate. So you can add extra decoration to your red work. You don't have to just stop with the stitching. And in the pattern for the snowman, you will get the full instructions on how to make the stocking. So that was the snowman bauble. I then went on to do a Santa bauble. If I just bring these in for you to see. And here we are with the Santa bauble decoration, all done in red work. And in this pattern, you get the Santa bauble, you get the second Santa pattern, again with the Merry Christmas. And this time, um, the instructions on how to make this little sack with the gathered top. Perfect for putting all those little Christmas gifts in for the children. You've got the designs so you could mix and match and then maybe put pop one of these on top of a stocking. And then finally in the range we have the reindeer bauble and with this one we have the pattern for the cushion 
again with an envelope back and the full instructions on how to do that. And you can see I've decorated this with little snowflakes and little beads. And also in the pattern, we get the reindeer Christmas tree. Doesn't he look super cute? And imagine what this would look like if you added a little bit of colour to the antlers for the lights. I just want to quickly show you just one of the pages of the pattern so you can see what you're getting. This is for the snowman. Okay, and all the patterns are the same, whether you have the reindeer, the Santa, um, they'll come on large sheets of paper, easy for you to trace through with your bauble design, and notice that you get the full alphabet. So if you then want to go on and personalise it, you don't want to put Merry Christmas above it, or you want to put Happy Christmas, Timothy, or whatever name you want to put on there, you can then personalise them. And if we have a quick look at the, the design, um, I sort of thought once I'd done the, the design, wouldn't they look lovely if they were appliqued? Now, bearing in mind this is yours now, this is your pattern, so think about how you could use them in other ways. Wouldn't that look lovely if it was coloured in? So it might be good for the children, they could be colouring in part of the pattern while you're busy stitching it out. Or maybe you could make them into applique. And here we go, this was the Santa that I showed you earlier. And using my red work pattern, I traced off all the shapes I know, sorry, this is the one for the, the snowman, but you can see I traced off all the shapes and then I made him into applique. So let me just bring him back in. Here he is done in red work and there he is done in applique. So have fun with your pattern and think of other ways of using it. And finally, just before I go, I just want to share with you my latest design that I'm excited about. And that's my reindeer advent. So this year I've gone all out. He's a lovely big reindeer. And around there's 24 pockets for you to fill with all your little gifts or chocolates or whatever you want to stick in the little pockets. And that the pattern will give you the instructions on how to make the complete advent calendar, including all the numbered pockets. Thank you very much.